an incredible teen inspiring us this morning, Anastasia. She's a championship winning ballroom dancer whose scoliosis was so severe it nearly stopped her from doing what she loved most, but she didn't let it. TJ sat down with her and he's back to talk about her journey. Robin, I am in awe of this young lady, not just her talent on the ballroom floor, but also her strength and her resolve. She had to retire from dancing at the age of 14. Her condition was so bad, and I'm not overstating, her spine looked like an S. Well, she found a new doctor, a new procedure, and guess who's dancing again? That's Anastasia Manchenko dancing across the floor. She makes it look easy, but learning these moves took years of grueling practice. The feeling when you're on the dance floor, I don't know, it's amazing. <laughs> you might see joy, yet 17-year-old Anastasia was also hiding extreme pain. It was like a stabbing, like a constant stabbing, and it's like somebody's taking your spine and they're literally holding it, like strangling it. She had scoliosis, curvature of the spine, and over the years, it was only getting worse. The fix doctors offered, a surgery called fusion that would straighten her spine permanently, but it would limit her flexibility so much that her dance career would be over. I just didn't want to give up. It's something that you love to do, like, you do it no matter what. With the help of years of physical therapy and back braces, she kept on dancing. But by the time she and her partner won the 2016 National Ballroom Championships, her scoliosis was so disabling and disfiguring that her spine looked like this. How did you dance through that? I don't know. Medicine. Was there not some doctor telling you, yeah, you probably shouldn't be dancing? There was many. The day Anastasia won that National Ballroom Championship, she threw in the towel, deciding the pain was just too much. She thought this was the end of her dancing career. You didn't hold out hope for something? No. You just thought it was over? Yeah. The ribs were bunched up here. But then Anastasia found new hope in Dr. Baron Lahner from Mount Sinai Hospital, who offered an experimental alternative to fusion, one that is still not FDA approved. It's a surgery called tethering. In this procedure, he attaches a flexible cord onto screws placed in the vertebrae. When the cord is tightened, it pulls the vertebrae straight. It preserves and maintains flexibility for the patient as well as growth for those who are still growing. So in July of 2017, Anastasia decided to go for it. Can we take an x-ray? She underwent a full day operation where Dr. Lana removed four ribs and tethered her spine. Anastasia's surgery was a success. We do know that our patients uh, who are several years out have been doing beautifully, but there are some unknowns. How long will this flexible cord, this rope, last? We met up with Anastasia again six weeks later. Wow. Now she was a full two Perfect. inches taller. It looks so perfectly aligned. Her back now nearly straight. You Oops. changed my life. You made it so much better. Thank you so much. How long of a career do you think you have ahead now? My whole life. <laughs> All right, we do need to note here that only a few centers around the country perform this, and only 500 people have had this experimental procedure, but it worked in this case. It's meant for only people who have extreme cases. Mm -hmm. Hers certainly was one, and it worked oh, for her. Oh, what a great story, and Anastasia is here! <laughs> Thank you for bringing this, oh, she's TJ. Great. She's Just great. Your, your strength, your resilience, your resolve. I mean, what, what went through your mind when at one point you thought you were not going to be able to dance again? It was just heartbreaking. Do you imagine, like, it was my passion. It's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And, like, when I dance, it was just like, like, Everything's complete. I can breathe. Like it's like my fr my breath of fresh air, <laughs> and it's just heartbreaking because I can't do it anymore. And all my doctors are like against it. So it was it was really bad. Robin, they're supposed to be following their dreams at that early of an age, sure. and she retired at 14, 14 so much that she actually said she threw her clothes. She locked the clothes up, the dancing shoes. She wouldn't even look at them. Yeah, I locked it in my parents' room, far away, so I don't see it. Because I can't go into my room and just see all my gold medals and be reminded of mm. something I can't do anymore. She slid that all my gold medals. I know, I know, yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. I, noticed that. I was good, y'all. I was good. <laughs> I'd love to see your, your mom is just beaming, beaming with pride. She looks over here. 
here. And, and I know it was a, a long recovery and very difficult. And you said watching Dancing with the Stars really uh, it, it helped you. And there was, uh, was there any dancer in particular that inspired you? Yeah, Mark Ballas. Um, I watched every single like episode of the whole entire season. I know every single one of his dances. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like watching the show. It inspired me to get back because it was like. Like it was around the same exact time as I was recovering and going to my physical therapist, and they like they were like, okay, let's do this like step by step, and it was just like when I come home and watch the show, I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> well, I, no, TJ's a big fan. I, I am a big fan, of course, <laughs> uh, of yours, and it was cool to hear how you know a show like Dancing with the Stars yeah. entertains us, but actually inspired somebody yeah. like this. And we actually have, if you wouldn't mind taking an audience question, we do have someone in the well, audience. Because you got a lot of people who really are big fans yeah. of yours, and but there one in particular. I have right a question. There. Oh! <laughs> You say you're a, a fan of mine, that's a huge honor, but I'm a fan of yours. My question is, can I get a hug? Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> so nice to meet you. You, you know what? We're going to have to go to break. Um, but do you have your dancing shoes on? Would you oh, like she to does. take a spin? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, my Wait, God. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.